Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Quick Tech Tips and Reviews. My name is Tony and with this channel, we bring you guys a variety of tech related content. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe and hit that little bell down below so that you're alerted to when new content is being released. So today I wanna to share a tip that I accidentally discovered that affects L2TP remote access and IP version six site to site access on the Edge Router X series in firmware versions 1.10 and 1.10.1. All right, guys, so a few months back, probably closer to a year ago, I did a video on how to set up an L2TP over IP6 server on an Edge router. I'll put the link to that video up above if you're interested. The VPN has been working great up until recently. I've been having issues where I can make a successful connection to the VPN, but if I bring up a web browser and I try to get to the sign-in page of my Synology NAS or my free PBX server, or for that matter, any internal device on my network, the page will not load. And I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. Periodically, the page would load maybe one out of every 20 or so times. So then I realized it was something that was intermittent, but for the most part, the page wasn't loading. However, if I access the VPN from a mobile device such as an iPad or an iPhone, I was able to hit my devices without any issues. For example, I have the DS file app on my mobile devices. I connect to the VPN, I go into the DS file app and I'm able to hit my Synology NAS and access all my files without an issue. So I wasn't really sure what was going on and why I couldn't get uh, to the devices via a web browser. So I accidentally discovered this. I was setting up an Edge Router X for a client this morning, and I noticed that when I was going through the process, I when I went to commit the setup of IPsec offload, the Edge OS yielded this message here, and you can see it says IPsec offload on the ERX platform is causing problems to L2TP remote access. That caught my attention and I continued to read and showing that it also said IP version six site to site VPN. It said you should not enable IPsec offload if you are using any of the above. Well, I was, I was using the L2TP remote access. So I quickly disabled that on my edge router and I was able to successfully connect from an outside network and access all the user interfaces via the web browser. So the issue that I was having before is no longer an issue once I disabled the IPsec offload. So I'll put the command for how to disable IPsec offload down in the video description below. So that about wraps it up for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you were having issues with your L2TP remote access VPN, hopefully this will resolve them for you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out some of my other videos up above. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share, and use those Amazon affiliate links. It doesn't change your price, but it does help out the channel. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thank you for watching. See you next time.